Corn is used in so many foods and dishes that it's become a staple in most of our diets. And corn is very likely a part of your dog's diet too. If you look at the ingredients list on your pup's food packaging, you'll probably see corn listed. And while it's not toxic to our canine friends, our dogs can't eat corn the same way we do. We're Anya and Louie with Native Pet, and we're here to guide you through pet parenthood. While other vegetables provide more nutritional value for dogs, corn isn't all bad. Here's a roundup of the benefits your dog can gain from snacking on corn now and then. Fiber supports proper digestion and helps keep your dog's belly feeling full. Carbohydrates give your dog energy for walks, fetch, and playing with their four-legged friends. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 fatty acid that balances your dog's inflammatory response and nourishes their skin and coat. If you want to make sure your dog is getting the proper amount of fatty acids in their diet, consider Native Pet's Omega Oil, which is packed with omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids to help promote healthy skin and fur. Corn is also high in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, including vitamin C and B-complex. While technically safe and non-toxic for dogs, corn can pose some risks. That's why it's important for you to know these risks before feeding corn to your dog. The first is allergic reaction. If your dog has a corn allergy, they may experience symptoms like loss of appetite, skin problems, vomiting, or diarrhea. Let your vet know if you spot any of these signs so you can adjust their diet accordingly. If your pup's prone to allergies, Native Pet's air-dried allergy chicken chews can bolster their defense against allergens and help with long-term immune support. Corn on the cob may look like a fun snack, but cross this one off your list of treats you're willing to give. Corn cobs are easy for dogs to chew into chunks, which could easily become an intestinal blockage or cause a sudden and serious choking hazard. Corn's high fiber content can easily cause constipation, so be careful not to overdo it. Does your dog have a sensitive stomach? Add Native Pets probiotic powder to their bowl each day to support a healthier and happier belly. Serving corn to your dog, hold the butter and salt. While we might like it that way, salt will make dogs thirsty, meaning more trips to the bathroom, the potential for dehydration, and even sodium ion dehydration in extreme cases. As for butter, that's a big no for your dog's belly because it can cause vomiting or diarrhea. Finally, avoid the added sugars of creamed and sweet corn, especially if your dog is diabetic. Canned corn is one of the best ways to give your dog corn. Whether it's whole kernel or sweet, make sure there's no added salt or extra ingredients. And keep the portion size small by topping your dog's meals with just a spoonful of canned corn kernels every so often. Popcorn also makes a great occasional treat if it's prepared without salt, butter, and sugar. A handful of popcorn is more than enough. Just watch those unpopped corn kernels and pass on kettle corn altogether. So, can your dog eat corn? Yes, they can. It's non-toxic and included as an ingredient in many dog food formulas. But while corn does provide some benefits, it's not the healthiest choice. So if you are going to give your dog corn, give it to them as an occasional treat. And remember, no toppings like butter or salt. Trust me, they won't be fussy about it. Right, Louie? For more tips on keeping your pet happy and healthy, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the Native Pet blog.